Christmas weekend in 2022 was brutally cold. I had a four day weekend, but the first three days, the real feel was never above 10 degrees. I was going a bit stir crazy and with the temps on the fourth day being a balmy 25 and sunny, I decided to get out for a bit. Most streams were fairly covered with ice by this point, but luckily I knew of a place that wouldn't be. And it appeared I wasn't the only one with the same idea. The Gunpowder River is a tailwater, and the water temps here stay a lot higher than most do in the wintertime. On this day, it was at 41 degrees. A major problem with winter fishing can be ice in the guides, but here a quick dip in the water melts it all away fairly quickly. This is a well-known stream that gets hit pretty hard and the fishing has always been a little tough for me. Today though, was not one of those days. Early on, it's been it's been tough. Just trying to figure out which fly to go with, which which uh, bottom nymph I want to go with under my egg. I started way too light. I didn't realize the river would be flowing as high as it is, or as fast as it is. Um, it's not high by any means, but usually it's a little bit slower than this. So then I went slightly up, but I still wasn't getting deep enough, I don't think. So now I've got a, a three millimeter bead on hairs here so I'm gonna try that for a little bit if I get stuck too much I'll downgrade a little bit but I think I should be good with this I just know this time of year I gotta get deep oh that was a fish First bite all day. The undeniable grab of a fish. fell when I hooked him. That would have been bad. There we go. Fish in the net. Alright guys, he unhooked himself, which makes things a lot easier when it's this cold. Pretty brown. Really dark. 
See you, buddy, and thank you. Whew, no skunk today. Another one. Nice. Same hole. Hopefully I'll not screw this one up and get to show you. Let's go put the nib. The hair's here. There he is. Alright, so fish number three of the day. Probably the biggest one. Solid chunky little guy. See you buddy. No way, that worked. Nice. That was not a uh, not my finest cast ever, but got me a fish. Oh, that was fast stuff. There he is. All right, guys. Fish number four. Another pretty gunpowder brown. See you, buddy. Camera died there. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got everything with that fish. So hopefully you saw, hopefully you saw me catch it. There we go. Another one. Oh, we got a rainbow. Nice. Egg eater. Egg eater bow. All right, so rainbow. It's actually the first rainbow I ever caught in the gunpowder. He, he looks pretty good. I don't think there are wild rainbows in in gunpowder but it's a pretty good looking fish i know they do stock certain sections of it but i'm not sure if this one is obviously could have swam from elsewhere but very cool man there we go small fish Lost a lot of my attention there. It's like a little brown. Oh, come on, buddy. Well, he at least saved me the trouble of getting the hook out. That's why I love barbless hooks in the wintertime, especially in the wintertime. There he is, just a little guy.
There we go. Push on. There's a down tree in there. You probably can't see it on the GoPro, but just sitting right along that. Thought it might either get bit or stuck, so glad the first happened. guy back it's gunpowder fish man they're, they don't come that big very often but gorgeous fish well if you've made it this far then you've made it to the end of the video this was one of my better days on the gunpowder and of course it was on a 25 degree day but I hope you really liked it, and if you did, please feel free to subscribe, and I hope to see you next time here on SE Outdoors.